Hey guys, I'm back. We are, is it on? It is on. We are back on the external microphone. Um, I have heard your most feedback. Uh, some people said that they were okay with the uh, internal mic, with the new settings, but the vast majority of people did not like the sound I tried. So I appreciate everybody's uh, direct, honest input on that. And I will keep looking for other solutions to avoid my own buffoonery and screw ups with forgetting to turn on the external microphone. We are going to take a look at Monthly Knife Club for February, right here. Before I do that, uh, there is a viewer, a subscriber, who I have gotten quite a few comments from lately. Cassie Braun, who might also be named Jack, I'm not sure. But they, would, they really, really, really would like a shout out, so I'm going to go ahead and give them one here. Um, there are a lot of requests, so there you go, Cassie Braun slash Jack. Thanks for watching the channel. Appreciate it. Um, there's also uh, something we're going to talk about real quick. Uh, when we look at Monthly Knife Club, uh, they don't just give us, uh, you know, an, uh, an MSRP price. They give us the actual prices that they find the knife for online. They look around and they say, this is the price range. And there's something called the MAP as well. Uh, the MAP translates to the minimum price that someone is is kind of allowed. It, it's the minimum acceptable price. So if you're a dealer, um, and I'll keep I'll try to keep this short. When you're a dealer, um, let's say that you sign up with whatever company. We'll just use Benchmade for an example, because you know it's first off the top of my head. Um, there's the MSRP, which is what they suggest you could sell it for, but you as as a as a uh, dealer or as somebody who's authorized, an authorized reseller, can sell it for whatever price you want as long as it is not below the MAP price. Uh, and that is to make it fair, because somebody with, let's say, a lot of capital, a lot of buying power, might be able to negotiate a really good deal with Benchmade, like on a huge wholesale purchase, and get a, a better wholesale cost from them, and then have the ability to sell the knife for less. The MAP price, sets like a floor price for uh, retailers um, and distributors and, and such, you know, across the marketplace. So no one is technically allowed to sell it below that price. Um, if they do get, and they get caught selling it below that price, they usually are, are no longer allowed to buy at dealer prices from whatever company. So uh, Daryl, not Darren, Daryl sent me an email to let me know that the new map price for, for this particular knife is now $159.95, um, and that, you know, uh, there are some violators for this knife. I don't, I don't know what it is yet, but there are some violators that they found a couple, um, and his advice is if you can find it for lower than the map price, go for it. Um, but there are some issues with um, some folks selling this knife for below map online. Um, and, you know, those people typically will not be able to resell from the company in the future. So keep that in mind as we look at the prices for this uh, as we go. So let's see. I got to be honest. This this uh, envelope, I'm sure, saves on cost for monthly knife club. But I'm always afraid I'm going to cut into something I'm not supposed to as opposed to a box, you know. So... By the way, anybody that doesn't recognize the Spyderco PM2, haven't been around my channel very long. Haven't been around any knife channel very long, but that's okay. You might be new to the world of the knife. And there you go, there's a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Um, so, we are looking at the Onyx Collector's Plan. Monthly Knife Club is, I always do this spiel, one of my favorite subscriptions because you, you will always get your money's worth and then some in this box. This is a subscription for people looking for a higher end, um, I want to say higher quality, uh, but definitely a higher end knife in their subscription. Um, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two. There are plenty of times we've gotten two knives, but it is at least one really higher end, higher quality. Um, it is, I, I will say, um, at least the, the middle higher end range of of the knife world and this time we've got a defcon knife we've got a defcon knife before that was awesome i loved it so here they have now by the way uh, monthly knife club has lots of um other different packages you could subscribe to they have their ultimate which is like a knife 
and, and other accessories and everything, but the knife you get in the Onyx plan is a, a higher quality, higher end knife than you get in, in a lot of the other ones. That's why I like this plan the best. So the cost there you can see is 119 plus shipping and the total value, so like I said, what they see here is um, what this knife can be found for around the internet. So this is the map price that they we're talking about. And so what the email said is there are some violators. So you may find it in onesies or twosies around the internet for less than $159.95. And if you can, that's a great deal for you because this is the minimum acceptable price that DEF CON says you're allowed to sell the knife for as a dealer or distributor. So we've got a uh, DEF CON TF5288 milled titanium handle, uh, CPM S35VN, ball bearing, pivot, uh, should be really good. It says uh, features. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought there was like a choice of steels, but no, it's one of the favorite steels. Um, so definitely high quality materials. I mean, among the best here. Um, we've got our specs right here, which is great. So I don't have to put anything in text. Weight 4.5 ounces. Some people might call that a little bit heavy. I think that's a pretty nice weight. Blade length of almost four inches. Overall length 8.75. So let's take a look here at what we've got. Nice box, nice foam, nice bag, nice do not eat. What do we got here? Got some spare hardware. Okay. We'll take a look at the hardware in a minute. Uh, not the blue and wow, nice blue anno on, on the hardware here. Extra comes with a wrench for adjusting and replacing stuff. That's always nice. I can't tell you how many of these I still have around that come in these though. Um, and I mean that in terms of, you know, when you have a screwdriver set or, you know, a multi-tool with, with a bunch of bits on it, I, you know, it's more convenient than remembering all these things, honestly. So a little felt type bag. And let's see. Hmm. Nice looking. That's a nice looking knife. You can already see, I hope the lighting is good in here for this. So you've got the milled titanium handle frame lock, and we've got a little uh, carbide or steel insert there for the lock so you don't have stickiness. I can feel a bead blasted finish on the blade, but we'll get there. And then looks like the back spacer has a glass breaker slash temple smasher and uh, a non-positionable clip, but also a titanium clip. Um, they've got a really nice green anno job on it greenish gray i'll let you decide what color that is on your screen centering looks perfect really nice finish on the blade it's not a 90 degree spine so you're not going to be striking this or anything but then again you know it's really not that kind of knife uh, nice pivot work there and even though it looks fancy you, you can get a standard bit into there uh, whatever size Torx that is, I'm not really sure. We'd have to mess with it and find out. Very nice work on this, though. This is another one of those knives, you know, just looking at it, judging by the materials and the work, if it had, like, the ZT name on it, um, this would be at least another $100, you know, in, in price, simply because it said zero tolerance on it or whatever. I'd be at least a $250 or $300 knife, given full titanium construction, S35VN blade, um, the fact that it's DEF CON and not Zero Tolerance or one of those other more well-known brands keeps the price down. But really like that flipper too. Nice little jimping over there. I don't see any jimping on the blade or anywhere else, but the backspacer has some cuts into it. Cool lanyard area there. Not, oh, that's a gorgeous blade. Take a look at that finish on the blade there. It's really nice bead blast work. And then, you know, the edge, the actual bevel there. Sweet. Love it. Oh, got a little oil on it. So it comes with a little bit of oil in the pivot, which is not a bad thing. That's what gives it, keeps it working nice and snappy, I guess. Great lock up there. Let me move this box can see. And we'll test that out. Um, we've got equal milling on the lock and the scale side. So nothing juts out. 
it's comfortable. It's pretty comfortable. You can feel that clip just a little bit. Nothing that makes it uncomfortable, but you can you can feel it just a little. Let's take a look at the markings on the blade. Sorry for the shadow there from the, the conflicting competing lights, but not a whole lot of billboarding going on. It is made in China, I guess. We've got our S35VN. Um, I thought maybe it was serial numbered, but it's not. But that's all right. It's really nice. I love the fi I love the blasted finish on here. Unfortunately, it's gonna show scratches like big time. So if this is a user knife for you, it's gonna show. I mean, the sort of satin-like finish on the titanium and the bead blast finish on this knife, it's gonna show every ounce of work. Now there's some people that really like that because they think it, you know, they feel like it gives their knife character and sort of tells the story of the knife as it's used. Um, some people hate that because you know it doesn't look pretty anymore. It, it really is all up to you. Um, but if you were to carry this one around, every single scratch, every rub against keys in your pocket, anything in your pocket, change in your pocket, every uh, cut against anything that's not soft will show up on this knife. So it'll, it'll tell the story of your knife and give it lots of character, um, but you know that might not be what you want. Um, grip is great because of all this uh, milling. Even though it doesn't have jimping up there, it just your fingers catch and it feels good. It's got a lot of real estate from top to bottom for big hands, small hands. Um, it's comfortable in a reverse grip, although you want to keep your thumb off the pommel there because Mr. Temple Smasher, that's, yeah, that hurts. The weight and balance feels really, really nice. I know I'm just being silent now. I'm just feeling it out. It's a it's a nice feeling knife. Uh, I love the swell here towards the back. It just it fills your hand. These two sort of semi choils hold your fingers really nicely, and then that swell fills out the rest of your hand really, really well. Um, very comfortable to hold. I like it a lot. Let's see. Very smooth, let's see. Put it like that, yeah. Very smooth operation. So let's do a push button. Oh, okay, there we go, push button. I almost feel like that's a little too forceful of opening. Let's do a light switch. Yeah, this, this wants to be a light switch flipper. Very nice and smooth, easy light switch opening. The push button, you gotta get just right, but it. It just, it feels like it, it hits that blade stop really hard because of the detent and everything when you do the push button. Um, it works either way. I just, I feel like you could do a nice, easy light switch flip and it just rotates really easily around with those ball bearings. Nice crisp sound too when it stops. Let's take a look at the spare hardware. Let's see what we've got. So this would seem like we've got one extra pivot, so you could replace one of those to be blue anodized. And so let me take them out so I can actually show you. And it's a very nice deep blue anodized piece there. And these look like some frame screws that come with it as well. It's hard to tell, you know, what might be a frame screw or a pivot screw or, you know, a lock, uh, lock screw there. I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm, I'm not sure what this screw does because it seems to have the same size as the pivot there. I don't know if you would replace one of these with that screw there. I'm not going to take it all apart right now to find out. Um, it's, it's not the same size overall, you know, on the, the head. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter because I can't get the bag open anyway. There we go. Are these screws the same size? These do seem to be not the same size. I, I, I don't know what all the different screws are for. If we look at these two screws, though, these are roughly the same. No, no, they're not. I take it back. This one's a little bit smaller. So I honestly have no idea what this screw is for. 
or where it would go, unless it's just common hardware packages they put in everything. Maybe it's uh, for another knife, but you could put this blue anode pivot piece in there. I don't I wish they'd give you two. If you're gonna switch one, you know, why not another? And then that leads me to say, why two frame screws? I mean, I, I don't know what they're doing over here. Uh, maybe, it, maybe, maybe it's clip screw and lock screw. And I, I, I'm not sure, I have to look into it more. But, you know, it's it's a good, I mean, it's a really nice uh, anno job on all this hardware. Really nicely done. Shall we do some paper? Very fine cutting edge. Out of the box, beautifully ready to cut. Let's gather up some 550 cord. Do the pull through. A little harder than I expected. Not hard, just harder than I expected. And we'll do the slice. And the slice is just nice. Let's see. Push right down through the cord and it cuts like perfectly clean. Perfectly clean, very nicely done. It's a gorgeous knife. And again, for the materials and the kind of construction you're getting here with the DEF CON name, you're saving, I guess it's an expensive knife, but you're saving a lot of money over something like, uh, what are other brands that, you know, fill in your favorite high-priced brand? Uh, the Benchmade Anthem, same construction, same style, 450 bucks. And like I said, ZT, 250, 300 easy. Price range online, 159 to 212, or 119 plus shipping with Monthly Knife Club. So like I said, Monthly Knife Club, like, you know, even sometimes you, if you save yourself 20 bucks on, on the knife, which, is you know, sometimes that's what it comes down to, but it's still 20 bucks you've saved. And over the course of the subscription, you know, you do 20 bucks times 12 months. That's, that's not bad money to save uh, and build yourself a higher end, collection. That's why I, I really like the Onyx subscription. Um, I'm not ready to do my ratings right now, but this would definitely get very high marks on everything. Um, you know, just design, um, mechanics and function, the cool factor, uh, materials, I mean everything. It would get really high ratings. I, I am, I'm really liking it. I think it does have a great look. I think it has kind of a a nice classy look without, you know, almost not a, not a no frills, but like a, a very sort of refined look. But at the same time, it also has kind of a, a cool look to it, like a modern knife look. I think it could suit your needs in a number of ways. The one thing is that at 3.75 inches, I know there's a lot of uh, places throughout the country that this would be a little too big legally for EDC carry, which would be its, its one limitation. But it, you know, the four and a half ounces, it carries really well. It doesn't feel like a heavy knife. Uh, there are a lot of people that I, I know, you know, I've talked to on, on the channel and stuff. They don't want to carry anything that's heavier than say three ounces. Here's the state of the lock. We have perfect centering starting this. State of the lock afterwards. I don't think it's traveled at all. No stickiness at all. Centering is still perfect. Action is still smooth. No blade play to speak of in there, so very nice. And you can actually see the marks that I put into this little mat here, so it's not like I, I babied it either. It was a good whack for the lock. So I think this is a winner. This is actually, I, I have to say, one of my favorite months for Monthly Knife Club. This is a great knife. A lot of times I do unboxings just to say like, hey, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. There's there's not a lot of subscriptions that I actually go so far as to say I recommend or I, I you know I encourage. But I do encourage you guys if you are looking for a good quality knife subscription and you're looking to add like a quality piece to your collection every month, um, you're not going to get a big old box of knives with the Onyx um, plan. Uh, but you're also not going to get any junk. You're not gonna get any uh, filler stuff. You're gonna get at least one really high quality piece, sometimes two. 
and it's absolutely worth the price and you're gonna you're gonna get over what you paid every single month so definitely look into monthly knife club if that's what you're looking for and I know there's a lot of people out there who who do believe it's better to pay you know more for good high quality than to just buy a box full of stuff you know so there you go what do you guys think of this knife i i really like it this is part of their jungle knife series defcon has a, a few of them uh in that series but this is a really nice piece and the fact that it's titanium by the way so and i always go here um you've got a big wide blade and nice open titanium so personalizing this if you wanted to customize it you've got the anno option um, either you know heat oxidation or actual uh, electro anodizing for all of this you've got laser you've got cerakote you've got i mean all sorts of options for customizing the blade too to make it your own lots of options to uh do all sorts of stuff to this and i'm thinking about it now as, as we're talking um, I will caution you if you're if you're not up to speed on how to do it, do not just take a blowtorch to your lock bar to your lock bar area. Um, that could that could mess stuff up. But there are but I'm just saying there's a lot of cool options to customize this knife and make it your own. Anyway, there it is. So your comments, what do you think? What do you feel? Um, or maybe you don't like it. Maybe there's something about this knife you hate. Go ahead, throw that in the comments too. All opinions are welcome. I've got to work on some other stuff, so I'm going to get going. But as always, remember, you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will be back again real soon.